let's talk about the little things that make the small apartment you rent feel like a home that you own. It's those daily small things that on their own are quite simple, maybe even mundane, but they add up. And by their powers combined, they create a homey experience in your apartment and just improve your daily life. So in today's video, I'm sharing 20 things that will help you make your apartment feel like a home. And these are 20 things that you actually use, not just look at. So none of these things are decor because first of all, it goes without saying that decor will help your apartment feel like a home. And second of all, I've already made over a hundred videos all about apartment decor. So you can always watch those for that kind of inspo. So no, today is all about the things that you use. Those little things in your apartment that make your life easier, comfier, and more enjoyable. And if you're new here, my name is Steffi, and on this channel, I talk about apartment styling, cozy things, and the joys of living alone. So if you're into that, consider subscribing. So these 20 things are things that I actually have and use. And really, these are the, the little things that have helped me settle into this apartment since moving in a few months ago. And I'm gonna share them with you room by room. So let's start with the bedroom. So the first thing is, in my opinion, one of the most important things when it comes to feeling at home in your bedroom, and that is very soft sheets. I myself am very, very particular about sheets. Honestly, a lot of sheets that I have tried have not been soft enough for me. Call me a princess, but and there is actually a brand that I have been using for honestly, I, like a decade. I, I have not switched from these sheets because to me, they are perfect and there's just no need to venture out. So these are Charter Club sheets and I highly recommend them. They are so soft, they, they pass my princess test. <laughs> They just make getting into bed every night feel like a luxurious experience. So definitely recommend Charter Club sheets. I will link to the exact ones that I have below. Actually, all of these things I will be linking as long as they're, they're still available. Another thing that will make you feel more at home in your bedroom is a good hair and makeup setup. A good hair and makeup situation is crucial. For me, I need to know where everything is. In the chaos of getting ready every morning, I just need to have everything in its place. And in my case, this takes place in my bedroom. I just feel more comfortable sitting at a desk in a soft, comfy chair with my makeup and hair products organized in the way that works for my brain. So if you wanna feel more at home in your bedroom, definitely take the time to make sure that your hair and makeup routine and setup feels comfortable and intuitive for you. Another thing that makes me feel more at home in my bedroom is I actually have a little bedtime skincare routine that I do. This is a specific like mini routine that I do when I get into bed. And it's just two quick steps. It's applying this moisturizer that I absolutely love. It's the Cos RX, I think is how you say it, snail mucin <laughs> moisturizer. Yes, it literally has like snail mucus in it, <laughs> but I swear this moisturizer is absolutely incredible. And by applying it right when I go to bed, I feel like it gives my skin just this last like supercharge of moisturizer before falling asleep for the night. And then the other step is applying Liliana eye cream. I apply this in the morning and when I go to bed at night. 
And as someone who has tried so many eye creams, I can say this one is truly uh, the best. <laughs> it's, it is a miracle worker. I get really like dry right here under the eyes, especially like when I put my makeup on. And this stuff works better than anything I've tried. So I put it on right when I get into bed for the same reason as the, the the snail mucus moisturizer is it's one last like burst of moisturizer for under my eyes. So for me, having a bedtime skincare mini routine definitely makes me feel pampered right when I get into bed and that makes me feel very at home. Another thing that helps me feel really relaxed and at home in my bedroom is my nighttime entertainment. Not that kind of nighttime entertainment. Get your head out of the gutter. No, it's just literally how I entertain myself as I drift off to sleep. And for me, it's, it's my iPad mini. My iPad mini is such a crucial part of my, my bedtime routine. Like every night when I go to bed, I either read on my Kindle app or I watch something. And I know there are tons of people who say that you shouldn't have a screen in bed or you shouldn't watch something in order to fall asleep. But honestly, ever since I was a little kid, my whole life I have always read in bed and then just fallen asleep while reading. So that's kind of a, a sacred time for me. And I also really love watching animated things <laughs> in bed. There's just something about um, cartoons and anime that just soothes me. I, I really don't know what it is. Like it just rocks me to sleep like a baby. <laughs> It's like it taps into some like internal child mind or something and makes me feel safe <laughs> and makes me feel at home. And then finally, when it comes to the bedroom specifically and feeling at home in your bedroom, I think it's very important for a bedroom to smell wonderful. And really this applies to every room in the apartment. So I guess, add this one on to, to every room as I, as I go through them. And I know I have tons of videos recommending various candles and reed diffusers and home fragrance of all kinds, but specifically, I definitely recommend the Pura like wall plug-in diffuser. <laughs> I've mentioned this, I, I think, in a past video, but I really, really love this thing. And it's something you might not have heard of yet. Like, we've all heard of candles and reed diffusers, but the Pura diffuser is, like, the highest technology of home fragrance. <laughs> It's crazy, it has an app, you program the, the times at which it disperses the scent, and a lot of the, the big home fragrance brands out there sell the little cartridges for it. So it's very easy to find beautiful scents for this. And really, I just think it's cool that you can change the settings in the app and like control the strength and the times at which it is actually diffusing the scent, you know, I, it's, it's just cool. You can't do that with other, you know, home fragrance mediums. <laughs> now let's move on to the bathroom. And my first recommendation for feeling at home in your bathroom is honestly, to me, one of the most important things in my life. <laughs> and that is a shower head with excellent water pressure. This is another thing that I'm a bit of a princess about. I need good, strong, hearty water pressure. <laughs> I cannot stand a weak trickle coming from the, the shower head and trying to wash my hair in that. Like I'm just very, very annoyed by, by such a thing. So I recommend just based on my own experience, a shower head that has great water pressure. 
There are many that you can get on Amazon. I recently just got a new one from Amazon and I love it. It has one setting that comes out so hard and it's just perfect for really getting in there when I'm washing my hair. So I will link to that below, of course. But either way, this is just such a great way to improve your whole bathroom and showering experience. And it's renter friendly because all you have to do is take off the, the shower head that is currently in your apartment and just store it away until you decide to move out and then just put it back on, you know? It's actually a very low lift renter friendly thing to do. Now my next suggestion is actually a direct result of the shower head that I got. And it was something that I got because an unexpected problem happened with this, this new shower head that I got a, a couple months ago. And that is that it created like a weird wind tunnel situation in my bathroom and that caused my shower curtain liner to billow a lot and so I would feel it up against my naked body and it felt horrible. <laughs> like imagine your shower curtain liner blowing into your wet naked body. It's a very violating experience. <laughs> so what I found is shower curtain weights. I had no idea that, that this even existed, but in a state of desperation, I just typed into Amazon shower curtain weights and lo and behold, they are very much a thing. So if you have ever struggled with the very specific problem of a, your shower curtain liner blowing in the wind <laughs> too much, then definitely look into shower curtain weights. They, they definitely fix the problem. Now I don't have to worry about feeling assaulted by my shower curtain liner every time I take a shower. <laughs> so that's a pretty random one and a very, very mundane suggestion, but it's one of those things where they seem silly until you need them. <laughs> and then they're like a godsend. Another thing that will enhance your bathroom experience is of course, nice soaps and body washes. I'm, I'm a big lover of of good, nice soaps. <laughs> I've mentioned before that L'Occitane is one of my favorite, favorite stores, and I religiously buy my, my body washes from them, specifically their almond oil. I have had that in my shower for, honestly, like the majority of my life, I have had that almond oil. Like I think since high school, <laughs> I have been using this consistently. It smells so wonderful. It makes your skin feel so soft. So I highly recommend that, which I will link in the description. If you can swing it in your budget, it's it's definitely not gonna be as affordable as like a drugstore body wash, of course. But if you have the ability, I say treat yourself to a luxurious showering experience. That really will help make you feel at home in, in your apartment. I forgot the word apartment, go figure. <laughs> My next recommendation for enhancing your bathroom experience is to get a reed diffuser. Of course, I couldn't make a suggestion video without recommending a reed diffuser. <laughs> But honestly, I would be remiss if I didn't include this in, in my list of suggestions for a bathroom because to me, having a reed diffuser in a bathroom is a non-negotiable. <laughs> I'm sure I don't need to go into detail, but we want our bathrooms to smell as good as they possibly can. <laughs> And a reed diffuser really will make your bathroom experience feel so much nicer and just enhance the overall sensory experience, you know? The idea here, really with all of the things that I'm recommending in this video, is to get those little things that contribute to the overall quality of life in your apartment. And smell is a huge part of that. And then finally for the bathroom is, of course, a good skincare routine. Because 
Of course, self-care is going to make you feel more at home and comfortable in your apartment. In my opinion, you can just keep it very simple when it comes to skincare, but the important thing is to have whatever system of skincare that works for you in your bathroom. And that really does make me feel better just as a person, but it also just makes me feel more at home. There's something about routines that makes me feel at home, you know, especially self-care routines. And if you're not sure about what skincare products you should look into, I highly recommend a YouTuber called Dr. Dre. <laughs> Her name is Dr. Dre and she is a dermatologist and she has tons of videos. Um, I'll, I'll link to her below. She has some great recommendations, so check her out if you want to improve your, your skincare routine. Now let's move on to the kitchen. So one thing that is an absolute must have for me is a good coffee thermos. Now, I also recommend cute coffee mugs and I have a few of those and I love them. The problem is that I hate lukewarm or cold coffee. I absolutely detest it and I got very sick of microwaving my coffee 50 times a day. <laughs> so finally I switched over to using a thermos and there is a specific thermos that I love and recommend. It's my Elo thermos. It's just a, a thermos that I got at Target and I'm very particular like I am about so many things. I'm very particular about my coffee drinking situation. The drawback is that it's not as cute as a mug, but for me, this is an absolute must have in my kitchen apartment experience because coffee is a very important part of my day as it is for many of us. And having the, the right vessel to drink it from is, is a big part of the experience. At least for me it is. The next thing is absolutely essential for me in order to feel at home. And that is to have my Simple Modern water tumbler near me at all times. <laughs> I am incomplete without it. This thing, like no joke, makes it so I drink water. <laughs> it keeps the water cold and it makes drinking water very convenient and also cute. Like that's a cute like matte dusty pink color that I think is very stylish. You know if something's going to be sitting out in your apartment with you all day, I, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing, you know. <laughs> it almost becomes a piece of decor because it's just out next to me all the time. It may not be a Stanley cup, <laughs> but Honestly, this is better than a Stanley Cup in my opinion. I don't want to feel like I'm lifting weights every time I need a sip of water. <laughs> my bones are too feeble for such things. <laughs> and those big ass Stanley Cups that everybody's raving about just won't cut it for me. So I prefer this more lightweight and stylish tumbler from Simple Modern. Next for the kitchen, I recommend a cute toaster. There's something about making something as mundane as a toaster aesthetically pleasing. Like for me, that makes me feel more at home in my kitchen is seeing my cute little toaster. It coordinates with my kitchen, so it almost is like a piece of decor on top of being like a functional thing that I use. So believe it or not, the toaster is actually a, a great opportunity to put your style stamp on your kitchen. I know, a toaster, who would have thought? <laughs> and Amazon has so many really adorable toasters that look kind of like smeg dupes. You know, Smeg is that really nice, expensive brand that just looks so pretty on, on the countertop. But if you're not willing to, to spend the Smeg money, there are a bunch of really stylish toasters on Amazon that give off a similar vibe. Another thing that makes me feel more at home in my kitchen is 
Of course, having pretty plates and cups and glasses and a stunning serving tray. Like these are just those little things that enhance your life. I mean, I know it's not just me. There's something about sipping out of a beautiful glass that just heightens the experience. There's something about eating off of an aesthetically pleasing plate that maybe doesn't make the food taste better technically, but it, it makes the experience better. And that's really what we're talking about here is enhancing your, your apartment experience. You know, just because you don't live in a home that you own, doesn't mean you can't enjoy some of the finer things, even the, the cheaper finer things. You know, like my favorite brandy glasses are, uh, are just a few bucks from World Market, you know? So when I say the finer things, I don't mean the more expensive things. I just mean the things that will make your kitchen feel like your kitchen, you know, not just a kitchen you're renting temporarily. And then finally for the kitchen is cute dish towels. <laughs> Having a dish towel that looks good when it's out in your kitchen, as well as being functional, is another one of those opportunities to make your kitchen feel like it's yours. I really love my dish towel that I have in my kitchen. It just matches the vibe so nicely. And it may just be a dish towel, but when I see it in the context of the rest of my kitchen, it gives me that little like glimmer of like, oh, that's, that's pretty this is my kitchen <laughs> you know it's really these types of little details that make your apartment feel like your home so definitely don't sleep on the power of the dish towel <laughs> and finally let's talk about the things that will help you feel at home in your living room first up is something that's very important to me because i am a television junkie and a lover of video games. So the first thing is a good entertainment setup. And specifically, my tip here is to not listen to people when they say that you shouldn't have the TV as the focal point in your living room. I am just like so not into that. Like, first of all, I think it's a little pretentious. Now, I mean, if TV isn't really a big part of your life, then sure, like having the TV as, as a focal point maybe doesn't make sense for you. But I think most of us who have TVs actually watch them. <laughs> and if you don't have the TV as a focal point, you're you're probably gonna be craning your neck in a weird way from your couch in order to in order to watch your show. Like this is just one of those like practical things that I think we need to remove the stigma from, you know, having a television as the focal point of your living room is fine. <laughs> so that being said, my personal entertainment setup consists of a TV, <laughs> an Apple TV, and my Nintendo Switch. I also recently acquired a PlayStation because my brother gave me his old one. So I'm gonna have another gaming console situation set up here soon. And then I'll try to keep my life together as I resist the temptation to just play video games all day, every day. <laughs> the next recommendation I have for feeling at home in your living room is a TV tray situation. <laughs> I say let's bring back the TV tray, <laughs> but like in the form of C tables and accent tables. Is it kind of trashy? Maybe, but am I into it? Yes. <laughs> A lot of us who live in small apartments do not have the luxury of space to have a legit dining table. So I personally have spent the last several years of living in various apartments eating on the couch. And I prefer not to eat off of my lap, so that's where an accent table or a C table comes in, AKA basically glorified TV trays. <laughs> so don't have any shame 
if you don't have room for a dining table and you're finding yourself eating on your couch or at your desk or whatever works, I say we embrace this and get a C table or accent table that looks cute, you know, that acts as decor, but also acts as your dinner table. <laughs> My next recommendation for feeling at home in your living room is something you can do, I guess, in any room, but I personally do this in my living room because it just has the most space, and that is a foldable yoga mat. So I actually don't do yoga. I have a weird foot deformity that makes it very hard <laughs> for me. There's like a bone deformity in each foot that um, makes it hard for me to walk like a normal person and so I walk on my toes. <laughs> um, anyway, weird tangent. Um, so even though I don't do yoga, I do certain things like ab stuff and stretches, you know, so that's how I use my yoga mat. and. I specifically recommend this one that I use. And the reason why is it's so good for a small apartment, specifically one that doesn't have the best storage. One thing I don't like about yoga mats is they're actually, I don't know, this, this is just me, but I find them very hard to roll up. I, I think it's annoying. And this foldable yoga mat that I have eliminates that problem. You literally just fold it up. It, it, it folds up like an accordion and it's easier to store away. It lays flat. It's just this compact stick, basically. So I, I definitely recommend it. It's great for, uh, for someone with limited storage and with limited patience. Another thing that will help you feel more at home in your living room is a coffee table book situation that reflects your personality. And I know this is starting to veer a little bit more into the decor realm, but coffee table books are not just decor, they are actual books that can be used and, and read. And I really do think they're a wonderful opportunity to show your personality and your interests and that makes you feel more at home. And when you have people over, a good like coffee table stack that expresses your personality and, and something that you're into can be a great like conversation piece, you know? And it's the things that create experiences and memories in our apartment that make us feel at home. So for me, it's obviously my, my Death Note manga that I always have on my coffee table, but I also have a few other coffee table books that I haven't figured out how to incorporate yet, but I love them. I have a Jim Morrison from The Doors coffee table book, a Kurt Cobain coffee table book, a Garbage coffee table book, and a Legend of Zelda coffee table book. <laughs> Rock and Roll and Zelda is basically me in a nutshell. <laughs> And my final recommendation for feeling at home in your living room is to have some really nice background music, always accessible. I personally recommend creating a playlist on YouTube or Spotify or whatever you use and taking the time to curate songs that specifically are great for background sort of ambient music, you know, some good lo-fi, cozy sounds, you know, that you can just always have on. Just no matter what you're doing, just to have these like comforting songs always playing in the background. I have a whole playlist on YouTube that I will link below of this kind of music, or at least the kind of lo-fi vibes that I like to have in the background. So check that out if you want my recommendations for, for this overall vibe. But basically, I just encourage you to take the time to like sit down and just really select the songs that make you feel good and make you feel relaxed. Like I'm talking about just creating sort of a, a sonic backdrop, you know, to your whole apartment experience. So those were the 20 things that help me feel more at home in my apartment. And they're things that I think will help you as well. 
again, it's all about just those little things, you know, the little things that just add up to enhance our overall apartment experience. Let me know in the comments, what are some things that make you feel at home? Like, what do you think is missing from this list? Like if you were to add to it, what do you personally love to have in your apartment that makes you feel at home? Let me know.